Hello and welcome back to KC Reviews. If you didn't check out yesterday's video, I'll put a link in the description, but it was about this Jurassic World line Basher and Biter, which leads us into this week's uh, first video, which is the Jurassic World Dino Hybrids line Spinosaurus. Now this is also from the Basher and Biters, which means it has that same function. Now, before we open this up, we'll look at the box a little bit. You can see it's a Spinosaurus, Chomping Jaws, Dino Hybrid, ages 4 plus by Hasbro. The detail, the box is actually not too bad. They're actually really simple to open to. And right off the bat, the paint job looks really good. Here's the one side, the back which shows you can get the T-Rex from the original line, the Armored Indominus and the Armored Ankylosaurus, Jurassic World Hybrids. Here's the back which shows it kind of in an action pose, Chomping Jaws, Hybrid Dinos, Battle for Survival, Jurassic World. You see the Indominus kind of skin pattern comes to the back as well. Authentic Jurassic World, Hasbro.com. Alright. So let's get this open. Okay, so it comes out of this packaging really easy. You just snip those two little harnesses and bam, right out of the package. Now, like I said, this is a Basher and Biter as well as the one we did yesterday. So, same thing, you push till down, it'll raise up the head and you push the tail sideways and it opens the mouth so let's look at some detail and then we'll compare it to the original lineup from the Jurassic World series Basher and Biter um, so you can see the screw holes are still really visible Let's see, there is some paint deficiencies. When I was buying this one, I actually had to go through. There's about three of them on the shelf, and one actually had a really bad gold mark here. So I'm guessing the whole thing is painted gold and then painted blue over. But yeah, if there's gold showing through there, or you know, there's just paint scuss all over on the other one. So this one was probably the best, least messed up one. as you can see all the teeth are painted individually which is nice some nice detail on that eye here's the dino damage Jurassic World logo now you can see some of the musculature the feet are actually pretty good as well and I like that both the claws and uh, claws on the feet are painted individually as well. And then look, they actually painted uh, not all the tail, but they started painting the tail and faded it. So it looks actually natural. Okay, so here they are. The original Jurassic World Basher and Biter here, and then this hybrid. Basher and Biter, which is really just a repaint. And that's what a lot of this line was, was repaints. But the paint job alone just makes the Spinosaurus look a lot better than this one. Uh, the That one, just the green looks like a prototype. And like I said in the, the video for that guy, if they had actually just painted the whole thing that orange, I think it would have looked better. But right here it shows you going from one of the worst of the Jurassic World line to one of the best. I mean, paint can do a whole lot. And as you can see, just even attempting to paint some of the tail made it look a lot better. And just the whole design, because look at, that one looks eh. And then look, just looks a lot better overall. Uh, the white looks better. But now there is less uh, paint defects in that guy. Uh, mouth this one has quite a bit 
as you can see there compared to this one which is actually this uh, Basher and Bader actually has very few paint defects which is really nice but yeah there's a quick comparison little short video for you guys hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll get some more videos out for you but let me know which Spinosaurus paint job looks better the original Basher and Bader or the new uh, hybrid line Basher and Bider.